Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to master the access on Kukaruba. In the beginning I'm going to show you where to go to check if any access need to be mastered in the first place. And uh, to do so, you're going to go to Startup, Master, EMD, Standard, Set Mastering. Here, this screen will show you if there is any access that need to be mastered. Uh, since it shows us here there is no access to be to master, that means all our access right now are good to go and they don't need mastering. In this situation, there is an option that you can unmaster any access you would like and master again. You go to startup master unmaster and here will, you will see all the access that uh, are good and they uh, already mastered and they don't need to be remastered but in the bottom here you can see the unmaster option so you select the access that you would like to unmaster and then you select unmaster and now this access one is gone since we unmaster it from this list if we go back to the other list, master, EMD, standard, set mastering, now we see the Ruba access one in this screen uh, because it's not mastered and need to be mastered. Also on, this, also on this screen here, you can see the connection to EMD light is or LED is red. That tells us that we are not connecting our mastering tool to the Ruba yet. And uh, the AMD in mastering range, the other LED, is going to be always a gray if our tool is not connected to the Ruba. So we need to connect our SEMD tool, mastering tool, to the Ruba first, and the connection to AMD LED will turn uh, green. This is my uh, mastering set. It's the SEMD. SEMD. Now we need to locate the X32 board on the Ruba. Usually it's in the back of the Ruba. That's where our uh, mastering tool will be connected to. We bring the EtherCAT cable, which is the thick cable in the set, and we connect it to the X32 board. We just push it in. And the other side of this cable will be connected to the mastering box. And after we connect this cable now, we need to align the uh, mastering notch with our Ruba, which there are two uh, marks that we need to align them to each other. You need to cut them as close as you can to each other, but they don't need to be 100% above each other, but the, the mark on the Ruba, the top one, it needs to be at least to the right of the notch, the plus posi uh, position of the notch. Because when you're mastering the Ruba, the Ruba will be moving toward the left uh, to, uh, to master itself. So as long the mark on the Ruba, the top one, is above, exactly above, the mark in the, in the, on the notch or positive side of it, then it's going to work. It, uh, it still is okay. Now we bring the SEMD tool and we use it as a screwdriver to open the cap on the Ruba. And we screw the SEMD to the Ruba and we just secure it. We don't really put any force on it to tie it. We just uh, secure it, make sure it's not moving and that's it because the threads, they can, they can be damaged easily. We bring the M8 small cable and we connect it to the SEMD. And the other side, we connect it to the mastering box.
Right now in this screen, we can see that the connection to EMD changed to green. That means the SEMD, the mastering tool, is connected to the robot. Under that, the EMD in mastering range is red. That means I did not align the marks very well above each other. Uh, again, it's it's fine as long the robot mark is toward the positive side. If we move the robot a little bit toward the left to make the marks align more, you will see this turn green like this. If we look at the robot now, you see them align better. I'm gonna move the robot a little bit to the right, to the positive uh, direction to uh, and show you it's gonna be a red uh, LED color right here. It's red, and I'm gonna uh, master the robot from this position, so uh, you can see it's still gonna work. Uh, the robot will be moving toward the minus direction very slow. That's why it's better to have it in the range so it's faster. But still, this will work too. So now to master it, you just choose the axis that you want to master. In our case, only one. And then you go in the bottom. Uh, there's option to it says master. You click on it. And now in the top, it tells you start key required. So you push the did man and you hold the start key. The robot should start moving very slow to the left. And when it get to the mastering range, now when it get there, you will see uh, in my bin that it's gonna show it is in mastering range again, right here. And you you, you keep the start key down, you, you hold it, you keep holding it until the robot show you it's uh, it finished mastering. So right now I'm holding it, and uh, if we look at the robot here, it's almost in the center of the notch. That's when the master will be done. Here you go. Now it says no access to master. That's mean the mastering is finished. If we go back and look at the, for example, the unmaster screen, we will see it's access one back to this screen. Uh, prove that the access was done. Here in this screen, I'm just showing the most likely positions for the uh, the, the uh, mastering notch uh, for the six axis robot. Most likely for axis one is where number one is, axis two, three, four, five, six, where you can find the mastering notch to use the SEMD or any, ma any mastering tool to uh, master the robot. Thank you very much.